Hey everyone who is watching this not live, feel free to skip ahead about four minutes or so. Um, it, there'll be some banter before that with the people on the chat, and so um, feel free to skip ahead as you need to. It's a good Saturday morning. Got a good word. I'm excited about what God is going to speak to us this morning. So, y'all comment in. I'm, I'm actually this. This is my first time using my own LTE. I used Corey's on that road trip. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me and see me okay. If everything um, is working all right. If not, I can try to find a, a better Wi-Fi connection. Um, but I'm sitting in the car here, getting ready um, to go go help a buddy move. So, seeing everybody jumping in. Pam, good morning. Tammy, love you, praying for you. Is um can 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 y'all hear me and see me okay? Let me know in the chat if everything's okay. We're gonna hang here for a couple minutes until um until we uh um until about uh, 7.35. Give people a few minutes to get in. Jane, I, you know, I don't know. I left her asleep this morning. Jacqueline's staying with the girls today so I can go help Heather and Cedric move. Thank you, Randy. Um, the um, Thank you, Tammy. Um, and so hopefully she's feeling better. Uh, she wasn't throwing up last night, uh, She but she wasn't drinking or eating much either. So hopefully she'll get up and eat this morning and, and, and all that. So... I'm glad everything's working. Y'all tell me something good um, God's doing in your life, uh, a worship song you really enjoy, a scripture that's been uh, maybe just standing out to you by chance, um, something like that. Tell me something good, a praise report. We got a good one this morning. I'm excited about uh, today's devotion. Hey, um, if you want to, uh, you can wait till I say something good if you want to share. But um, if you want to share now, you can go share this video and let some more people know that they need to jump on uh, Saturday morning. So we probably won't have as many as normal. Um, but if you go ahead and share it now, um, that will let people know uh, and that they can get on before they miss too much of it. Kelly, I love you, Kelly. Uh, you need to come hang out with us. Um, church... Uh, and small group this Sunday, so we got a lot going on. We miss you guys. Y'all are awesome. I'm sorry, Katie. It's probably because I'm loud. <laughs> you have to put some headphones in. I know it. You need to come hang out with us. Angela, love you, love you. We loved having you at church Sunday. Hope you'll be there again this Sunday. It's going to be a good one. Um, be there in spirit, Randy. Praise the Lord. Well, hopefully your spirit's strong. Uh, <laughs> cause we're going to need it to lift some stuff while it's over there. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all share the video. Let people know they need to jump on. Go ahead and share it now. We've got a couple minutes before we actually start the devotion. Oh, Katie, all kids are attention hogs, um, but I'm I'm an attention hog too, so I can't uh, I can't I can't complain. And if I'm sick, man, I, I cry and I whine, and I think all men are kind of that way. I'm a I don't cry really, but I whine. I'm a pain. Tracy, love you, love you, love you. Thanks for joining on. Again, feel free to go ahead and share this if you want to. That way other people um, will know to jump on. Because we're going to get started in about 60 seconds or so. I'm, I'm sitting, if you can't tell, in a McDonald's parking lot because I have the best LTE right here. And I was hoping to actually pick up their Wi-Fi from where I'm sitting, but I couldn't. So um, hopefully our signal will. Stay strong. Come on, y'all tell me something you're excited about. Let's get some comments rolling in here. What all are y'all doing? It's Saturday. What are y'all doing this weekend? Thanks for the share. 
Joshua and Kelly. Thanks for sharing. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Somebody tell me what you got going on this weekend. We've got about 30 seconds left. <laughs> coffee, yeah. Amen. Amen. I actually don't drink coffee, so I'm at a terrible disadvantage in the mornings. Uh, but I do all right. I'm kind of a morning person anyway, so I don't. if I drank coffee, I'd probably uh, go crazy, probably. So... Somebody's alarm's going off. There you go, Joshua. That is exactly why. All right. Are y'all ready to get started? If y'all ready to get started, hit me up with some uh, thumbs up, some thumbs up, and some comments, some amens. Let's do it. Michelle Hamby, perfect timing, jumping on this morning. We're about to get started. There come the likes. Let's do it. All right. So, um... This morning, uh, if you know Stephen Furtick, okay, um, if you don't know Stephen Furtick, first of all, you need to go YouTube Stephen Furtick because he's the man, okay? You could watch him literally all day long. Um, he's an amazing uh, pastor and preacher. Um, he just got done with a series on this uh, that, that included kind of this passage. It's from this passage called The Seven Mile Miracle. Um, and uh, yeah, Tracy, anytime somebody says Stephen Furtick, it's going to be awesome. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, the, um, the, so, so he, he, he did a whole thing about this walk to Emmaus and it's really good, but this actually is just coming because this is the scripture, um, from the Bible reading plan that we're on. Um, so if you, if you want to join part of that, you can go to chrispettit.org, um, or you can, um, go to, uh, just the Bible app and look up the one year Bible. It's the actual one year Bible plan, not just any year long plan. There's a couple year long options, but the one year Bible plan, uh, and, uh, do that. I'm reading the new living translation, but so here's the idea. Jesus, this is it. We're going to read from Luke chapter 24, one verse, verse 32. Jesus is on the road. Okay. Or, I mean, sorry, Jesus has been crucified. Um, he's, he's in the tomb, the women go down there. He's not there anymore. They, you know, they go and tell everybody nobody believes, okay? Now, two of the people, one of them, we find out his name's Cleopas, or as Stephen Furtick calls him, Cleo, and we can call him Cleo, too, because uh, we want to be cool like Stephen Furtick. So, um, Cleo and his buddy are walking to a small town called Emmaus. Um, they're, they're heading out, um, going back home, basically, um, and they pick a weird time to go home. I mean, you find out Jesus might be resurrected, right? And you're like, ah, well, let's just go home. So they're walking home, and basically Jesus walks up next to them, right? Good morning, uh, Teresa. Um, Jesus literally walks right next to them, but they can't tell. Um, I got somebody like staring at me right now. They're parked right in front of me, and it's really awkward. I'm just going to give you guys the environment. Um, in fact, for fun, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flip the camera if it'll let me. There we go. Staring right at me. So much fun. That's okay. I can preach anyway in my car. Um, so, uh, Furtick, uh, yeah, go ahead and share so other people can jump on this. Um, thank you, Michelle. Um, sorry. So, so Jesus walks up into this situation. Okay. And he's, he's walking, um, down the road with them and they have no idea that it's Jesus. And he begins to ask them questions and they say, are you the only person who doesn't know what's going on in Jerusalem? And, um, and they start to tell him about him. Hey, here's what happened to Jesus. And then these women came and blah, blah, blah. And Jesus says, man, you guys don't get it. And he begins to explain the Bible to him from Genesis all the way up to, um, you know, they didn't have the New Testament time. So he explains the whole Old Testament in light of the Messiah. And he shares with them um, what the Messiah um was supposed to do, that he was going to die, that he was going to raise again. He explains to them the whole gospel. Austin Kelsey dash Kelsey. Thanks for jumping on. I'm sure it's Austin. If it was Kelsey, she'd be preaching this one right here. Um, I'm just kidding. I, I shouldn't pick on you that much, Austin. You're, you're great too. You could preach this just as much. Um, anyway, so he's uh, walking down the road with them. They invite him to stay the night with them and they go to break bread at night um, to eat. And um, the moment he breaks bread, their eyes are opened, and they see that it's Jesus, and uh, he disappears, because that's what Jesus does sometimes, man. Boom, he's gone, 
and uh, they start freaking out. And that's where this verse comes in. You ready? Verse 20, uh, or Luke chapter 24, verse 32. Good morning, Melinda. Love you, love you, love you. Um, and pray for Micah Camper, y'all. He's out on a missions trip. Um, he's, it's going to be life-changing for him. It's going to be awesome. Um, so here it is, Luke chapter 24, verse 32. And this is what they said to each other. They said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? All right, so here it is again. Didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? Our hearts burned within us. You know, I hear some, from time to time as a pastor, people say, man, that Christianity stuff's just boring. You know, it's just about rules and um, God's just boring. And um, You know what I like to say? I like to say, God's not boring. The Bible's not boring. You're boring. Okay? The Bible and God, man, it's the most exciting thing on the planet. And I'm not just saying that uh, to try to pump you up. Think about it. Literally millions of people all over the planet have given their lives for the sake of the gospel. There's something, there must be something so exciting about it, so real about it, so impactful about it, that people are willing to lay down their life rather than deny the experience they've had with God. It's so exciting. When you learn to read the Bible, when you learn to engage in the, the mission of God and His church, um, see, people say church is boring. Church isn't boring. You're boring. If your church is boring, you need to find a life-giving church, okay? Because church shouldn't be boring. It should be exciting. Come on, somebody. If this is good, give it a like. Give it a share. Give me a comment. And God, um, he, he, didn't, he never wanted church to be boring. It, it should be exciting, and it is if you let it be. So I'm going to give you some principles we find out here about uh, how, how um, life can become exciting for you, okay? So um, here's one. First of all, you see Cleo and his buddy are walking on the road. And what are they doing? They're talking about Jesus. They're talking about Jesus. And one of the reasons this Bible study uh, online here is so fun for some of you guys, uh, and a lot who aren't watching and many who will watch later, um, here's the truth. Uh, thank you, Tressa, for the share. Uh, the more we share, uh, the more people this will impact. So that's good. There's a lot of people who need to hear this because part of the problem is uh, you love this because I'm talking to you guys about Jesus, which is awesome, right? But the um, you want it because you have nobody else in your life with whom you can talk about Jesus with. Does that make sense? Some of you, uh, and, and if I'm honest myself, I'm even convicted because I don't have... Um, one of the things we were at art, man, uh, this conference this past week. And one of the things I was convicted about and actually challenged the guys I was with was that I don't have a whole lot of pastor friends. I've got a lot of church friends, people that I love and I care about, but I don't really have a whole lot of pastor friends. In fact, I don't have a single pastor friend that I can really call and talk to about pastor stuff. Does it make sense? Um, and so, um, I, that's something I'm working on on purpose is cultivating those relationships. And some of you guys, you don't have, uh, thanks for the share, Angela. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, uh, some of you guys don't have any good friends that you can walk on the road with and talk about Jesus. And, and here's the deal. Jesus doesn't just show up where he's invited. He shows up where he's talked about. Jesus will always show up when somebody talks about him. He'll always, he's there right? And, um, he'll be there. And so, um, we all need friends that, uh, we can talk to Jesus with, uh, or talk about Jesus with and, and, and that we can have those kind of godly, um, conversations that take us to a deeper level. Um, uh, that's why small groups are so important. And so if you're, if your church doesn't offer small groups or you're not part of a, what you might consider a life giving church, if you've for a long, it's been a long time since you felt like Cleo, where you said, man, my heart was burning within me. Uh, Hey, I'm not telling you need to leave your church, but maybe pray about finding a different church, a life giving church. Um, now sometimes church isn't the problem. Sometimes you're the problem. Uh, and if you've been to a lot of churches and you're not finding life, it may be you. Um, but, um, yeah, two or more gather in his name. Exactly. Exactly. And that's not just saying we're here in the name of Jesus. It's we're talking about the name of Jesus. And, uh, and so you may need to find a different church. Hey, even if you go to my church, if it's not life giving to you, go find a different church. Um, find one where, where, where you're getting life. But here's the key. You have to get plugged into the process. I remember, um, when I was a youth pastor, uh, in, in Beaumont, I had this lady come to me, love her to death. Um, her son was involved in the youth group. And I remember coming to me one day and she just came on Sundays and stuff. And she said, you know, um, 
my son loves the, the youth ministry and, and, and that's why we're here. But this church doesn't feel like family to me. And I said, you know, that's fair. You know, your, your feelings are valid and, and I appreciate you telling me that. But um, here's the reality. Um, do you remember when we, we asked you to, to get involved in a team and you said no? You didn't have time for that? Remember when we said come to this event or this small group and you said no, you don't have time for that? That's where family happens, right? And if you don't have somebody you can walk on the road with and talk about Jesus, uh, your heart's not going to burn within you. He's not going to show up in a way um, where, where your heart can can burn within you, you know. Um, and, and so we need to invite Jesus. That's that's really the point of all this. I'm, I'm pretty much already out of time. Um, but that's the point of this whole whole message this morning. you got to invite Jesus in, and you have to have relationships. Um, in fact, uh this week in Coleman, uh, I mean, in, in Hartzell and next week in Coleman, we're going to kind of talk about this, that uh, you you are, in leadership studies, they say you are um, the sum of your five closest relationships. So the people you spend the most time with, the top five, um, you're the sum of those people. So if you look around, the people you spend the most time with, the top five, and uh, you, you, don't, um, you don't like what you see, you don't want to become what you see, uh, you may need to involve some new relationships. And so you want your heart to burn within you. You need to find somebody you can talk about the gospel with. Thank you, Jason Hamby, for the share. Um, you need to find somebody you can walk on the road with, somebody who who go with you. That that um, when, you're, when you're having conversations with them, Jesus shows up. They're life-giving. Um, if you need help finding a life-giving church in your area, I can definitely point you in some right directions. Just uh, private message me. I, I, I'm telling you, church, there. Uh, look at me preach it now. I'm telling you, church, uh, Facebook Live, uh, friends and family, that life is is uh, it's shorter than you think, and it's moving fast. I mean, I, I'm only 30, but but I'm 30. You know, like I was I was 20 yesterday. You know, I was a youth pastor a couple days ago, and and life is too short for you not to live on fire for God. And and often being on fire for God has nothing to do with our, our um, just our, our intimate relationship with God, though that's important, right? Um, that's good. That's important. We've got to be connected here. But a lot of times we're not on fire with for God because we're not connected to other people who are passionate about Jesus. And so that's what you got to do. That's what church is really all about, is uh, is, is walking, talking doing life together, and then finding out later, man, Jesus was with us that whole time. Was it, weren't our hearts burning inside of us? And I'll, I'll give you this one last note. Um, one of my good friends, um, John Buehler, if you know John, you can tag him in this video. Uh, I love John Buehler. He's awesome. One of the great prayer warriors and kind of leaders in prayer, to be honest, in North Alabama, and I love him so much. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I, used to correspond with him more regularly than I do. And I need to, I need to get back to it. Cause he's just, he's a great, um, source of, of strengthening and faith for me. But he, um, uh, he, oh, and his, his daughter, Caitlin, um, just got married. She's going to be a missionary. So if you're looking for missionaries to support her and her husband are going to Africa, um, you can private message me. I give you details about that. Uh, maybe I can tag them in there. Um, and so, um, it's Joel Rath and, and now Caitlin Rath, I think, but, um, uh, it was Caitlin Buer, so um, awesome people. But anyway, one of the things he told me, I asked him about his prayer life, and um, he had a set-aside amount of time that he prayed and stuff, but he said, I asked him, what do you do during that time? He said, actually, it's different. It just depends. Sometimes I pray more. Sometimes I read my Bible more. Sometimes I read a book more. He said, it really just depends. And this is kind of the term he used. He said, where the life is. He said, it depends where the life is. And, and so kind of like these people said, where the, um, you know, weren't our hearts burning inside of us? And so um, wherever his heart was kind of burning, whatever was causing him to burn that morning, he spent his time there. So some days he, would, he, he might pray the whole time and only read a little bit of his Bible, or he might read his Bible the whole time and only spend a little bit of time in prayer. It just depended where his heart was burning. Um, and so, uh, yes, Michelle, I do, I do have the sinus crud and all that going on. I'm, I'm hopefully at the end of it. But anyway, so I want to challenge you. In your time with the Lord, you don't have to be so rigid. Go where the life is. And if there is no life, you need to find somebody you can talk to about Jesus because um, you'll, you'll look back and go, man, wasn't Jesus on the road with us? And we didn't even realize it, you know? But what we did realize was, was our hearts were burning within us. So if you want your hearts to burn, find somebody to walk on this road with you. Don't do it alone, okay? Be bold.
make some friends that love Jesus, um, find a, find a good, um, church, um, Austin, that is good, it is good, uh, and I stole it, most of everything that I, I, that is good, I steal, so, <laughs> praise the Lord, um, all right, well, I love you guys, any prayer requests, go ahead and pop them in, I'm going to pray for you, um, you can pray for Jane as she continues to hopefully be feeling better, um, pray for us as we help move Heather and Cedric, um, and, uh, get them set up, love them so much. Any prayer requests, jump in. I'm about to pray, so you got to be quick with the typing. Man, and, and, and I'll tell you, uh, we'll pray for Micah, of course, for sure. Um, pray for wisdom. Yep, yep, yep. Unspoken for Angela. Wonderful. I, I will pray. I'll pray. Um, I'll, I'll tell you, the um, it, you, don't let these devotions just be something that makes you feel good for a second, you know? Uh Think about it. Go go find somebody that you can connect with um, because you can do what I'm doing right here at a more intimate, more deep level uh, with somebody else, right? And so um, do that, do that. Praise report. Uh, no migraine. Praise the Lord. Um, Michelle, we're going to continue praying for absolute healing there, um, complete breakthrough. So we thank you for that, uh, Lord. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for who you are. Um, I thank you for what you're doing in everybody's life, God. Uh, I pray for um, continued healing in Michelle Hamby uh, for migraines and in my wife for migraines. Um, Lord, that you would just touch them and heal them, rebuke them in the name of Jesus, rebuke migraines. Um, for Angela Schaefer, God, you know the unspoken prayer request, be with her. Uh, holy, I'm about to speak in tongues on here. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that on Facebook Live. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting fired up. Um, Lord, I pray for her. Uh, I, I pray you, you just right where she's at, Holy Spirit, be with her. Be with her, be with her. Um, I don't want to freak nobody out, so I'll wait. I'll speak in tongues when I get off of this. Um, Lord, we pray for um, Micah Camper on his missions trip, God. Uh, Lord, that you would move in him and, and do something amazing in him and Pastor Brad both. Uh, Lord, for Michelle Hamby, wisdom, God, that you would touch her, God. Um, Lord, uh, um, I pray for your, your spirit to move in a powerful way. Um, David Winter, man, thanks for jumping on. I appreciate having you on here this morning. Um, You'll have to hit the recap as soon as we uh, get done. I'm in the middle of the prayer, but David Winter is such a cool guy that I, I stopped in the middle of my prayer to uh, to say hey to him. Love you, man. Um, I, I miss me, the winners, man. That's a good bunch over there. So, um, Father, uh, I pray, God, that you touch everybody watching this, God, that you would draw them closer to you. Holy Spirit, that right where they're at, God, you would have an impact, um, Lord, in their life, God, that you would speak to them, you would transform them. You, you know where they're at. I pray uh, you just work in, 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 um, in their lives, God, in a powerful way, Lord. Uh, love on them, God. Um, draw them closer to you, Lord. Let, let Christianity not be boring to them, God, but let it burn in their hearts. Um, Lord, let, it, let there just be an absolute fire inside of them uh, for your presence, God. And uh, because they're connecting with others, Lord, walking on the road, they're not having to do life alone. Bring the right people in their lives, Lord. But help them to be bold and go find the right people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, touch us today as we move. Um, help me not throw my back out. Got to preach three times tomorrow. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, love you guys. Um, any last thoughts, go ahead and jump in. Hey, David, man, I felt maybe the Lord a little bit say that if you need to talk um, at all about anything, man, I, I love you, dude. And uh, feel free to, to private message me. Uh, I, I, you're just awesome. I don't know why I felt the Lord drop that in my heart, but um, you're just an awesome guy. So feel free to private message me on Facebook, and I'll, I'll try to check that. I'm not great at being on Facebook all the time, but um, um, if you message me, man, I can I can shoot you my cell phone number. Um, yeah, I mean, you may not want to talk about anything, have anything to talk about, but um, I just kind of felt maybe... The Lord dropped that in my heart. So, Sonny Gibbons, you jumped on. You'll have to watch the recap. I, I, I talked about the, the five people closest to you for a second there, and uh, and you missed out on it. There you go. Sonny is uh, one of the ones that brought that idea to my attention. So, love you guys. Love you guys. Love you guys. Hey, here's an idea. Let's go change the world today. Let's go love some people. Let's go um, connect with some folks. Um you know, uh, let's go find somebody. Let's put this word, this is a very specific word. Let's put into action, okay? Let's go find people that we can walk on the road with and talk about Christ with and watch your heart burn within you. Watch it burn. Let's burn. All right, I've got to go. Um, 
uh, help people move. So I love you guys. Share this, like this, um, and um, let's help other people burn, get connected. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning before church, 7.30. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to post, uh, uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll do a little bit of Facebook Live before church, a pre-church uh, devotion. So, love you guys.